Hey y'all, it's Becca and welcome back to the channel, Becoming Better with Becca. Well, I'm hoping to help you get better right along with me. And today I just have a short little snippet of my ankle injury update. All right, so if you remember that injury, oh, I do, because it was only like three weeks ago. All right, so really quick summarization story, went running, at early, early morning, um, went down a road that had like no lights, even though I had my little hat with my lights and my flashlight, big stick middle road, foot hit it, rolled it, here I am. All right, so I haven't ran in three weeks. Uh, I decided it was time to go have it re-examined, even though they said, yeah, you'll be all right. I decided, let's go to my chiropractor. Went and talked to him and I says, hey, here's what's going on my ankle. He then tells me the news I did not want to hear. There is a small tear in one of my ligaments. I'm not gonna go into which one because it doesn't really matter, which means I still do have some swelling and I still do have some bruising and quite substantial amount for being now three weeks post having the injury. And I've heard it and I know you guys have heard it if you've ever sprained anything ever, you're gonna hear at least two to three people say, well, you know, they say a sprain is takes longer to heal than a break. And you know what, we've all heard it. Is it true? Yes. A little bit of why that's true. Bones, when they break, bones have adequate amounts of blood flow. Muscles, when they get strained, when they get stressed, when you pull one like I did in my trap not too long ago, they still have adequate amount of blood flow that's going to help them speed up the healing process. Ligaments, tendons, don't have sufficient blood flow to them. So it is naturally going to take longer for tears and sprains to heal when you're talking about sprains to a ligament or a tendon. So what am I going to do about it? What should you do about it? Easy. We're gonna make sure that we continue to elevate it. If there's still swelling, we still want to apply ice. So I'm still icing it using KT tape. I know I've talked about that a few times, but if you're going to use any kind of taping system, please make sure you look up on how to properly wrap whatever body part you're doing, you don't want to cause more injury than you already have. It still needs mobility. It still needs flexibility. I'm still working on stretching it and making it stronger, but not pushing it to the point that it hurts. So that's going to be my quick update for you on how that injury is coming. Hopefully within the next week or two, I can hit it running again. And it's all right that I'm not right now because well, it's like negative whatever's here and who wants to run in that. So until then get up, Go get it and no excuses and we'll see you later.